Monday. I just went through my five favorite comic book artists and I can't wait to share them with you so hopefully you can discover some new artists today. I've been really fired up about Inktober. If you've been following my Instagram page, I've been doing one every day. I'm a little embarrassed, but I didn't know there was an official Inktober uh, prompt list. And so I just kind of made my own up out of emojis. Um, <laughs> So anyway, uh, feel free to browse what I've come up with so far this month. I'm mostly doing like beautiful hair, ladies with beautiful hair, and all the kinds of different complex personalities and stuff. I'm just exploring pen and ink again. I used to do a lot more of it, but now I'm really doing watercolors. Anywho, my five favorite comic book artists are seemingly very different, but I think that there are some commonalities, and at the very end of the video, I'm gonna analyze all five and talk about what commonalities I see, and what can I learn about these artists that would inform my own art journey. So, I'm really excited, let's jump right into it. Number one is Fiona Staples. I found Fiona Staples through the comic book Saga, which I think most people know her for. And what I loved about the art in this book is how well designed it is. It is a perfect medium between amazing illustration and amazing graphic design. I love the way it lays out in the book. I think Fiona just did a magnificent job and throughout the whole series so far, just great story and great illustrations. Number two is Josh Middleton. And I discovered Josh Middleton when I was in high school and I was working at a cafe and I would ride my bike over to the comic book store and just spend all my tips at the comic book store. And um, NYX had just come out. He's the comic book artist for NYX. And I was just amazed by the cover art on these books and just the emotion and the style. I just felt it was very powerful but I would definitely say like the emotion is what captivated me. Um, he also has an amazing way of drawing hair, which I ended up learning from, and now his way of drawing hair kind of inspired my way of drawing hair, and it's something I love about the work I do. So, um, copy artists you love, because it could turn into your own work. <laughs> Number three, is Jeffrey Chamba Cruz. And I found him on DeviantArt when I was in high school when he was called Last Scions and he changed it to The Chamba at a certain point. So now he's at deviantart.com slash The Chamba. His work is just full of energy, full of fun. He does a great job with extreme perspective and action and I just I love that about his work. He also used to do this kind of thing. I don't know if he does it anymore. I remember he used to do these things called art jams with his friends. They would just come up with a prompt, like a bear with a motorcycle, and then they would have to draw it, and they would just compare and compete, and it would kind of be like a fun way to hang out with your artsy friends. So I was always so jealous because I didn't have any art friends in college, and it's still hard to find art friends. So. Um, but I was like, I was really into that and I thought, Ugh, if only I had some like-minded friends and we could do art jams together. So if you guys out there have art friends and you haven't done art jams, make it a thing because it seems really cool. <laughs> Next up is Loish and I found her on DeviantArt as well. Loish is not really a comic book artist. She's more of a character design artist. She does animation and she does illustration, but her style of work just kind of like feels like cover art to me sometimes, so I think that it might apply. Anyway, it's my video, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> but um, Loish, um, her name is Lois Van Barr. I may be pronouncing that incorrectly, but Lois has this very iconic style. You can always tell it's her. Uh, just like a little bit cute, but it's colorful and it's vivid and it's all her own. So I just love the work she does. I always have. And she's doing Inktober this year, so you should check out her Instagram page. It's in, it's Instagram.com slash Lois VB. And last but definitely not least, and probably the most famous person on my list so far, is Frank Miller. So 
I loved Sin City and he has done such amazing work on Sin City the comic and also Batman and Daredevil and all kinds of stuff and he just has such an iconic style everybody knows who Frank Miller is uh, it's just lots of black uh, the Punisher oh it's just gorgeous black and high contrast and it really sets a mood and I think that's what really stands out to me is that mood is so tangible in his work so uh, love Frank Miller so what makes all these comic book artists similar we've got Frank Miller whose art is dark and crazy and we've got Lois whose art is kind of cutesy we've got like the full spectrum so what do they have in common to me when I look at these works I feel something. They make me feel a mood or an emotion. The art really speaks to me. The second thing is that these characters are developed and complex. I can feel that there's more behind this character. There's, there's a mystery. The last thing I think they have in common is that their design and, or their composition on the page are just beautiful to look at. So it's like a perfect combination between good illustration and good design. And like all of these factors together make me want to make art like theirs. And I think that if you find your favorite artists and you try to analyze them and understand why you love them, then you can learn a lot about yourself and you can learn a lot about your art journey and where you're trying to go. So I definitely suggest copying work that you really love. Learn some things that kind of can't be taught. You know, they know things that you could only learn by doing. So tell me in the comments below, who are your favorite comic book artists? Who did I miss? You gotta tell me, I definitely missed a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!